Hey, hey, and we are. Sorry, guys. You're live with me now. What are we doing? Where are we going? What's up? What is up? It's a little windy. I got the window open. I love this Irish weather. It's so nice. Beautiful out. Windy day today. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Yes. We're getting into a roundabout. Let's check out how the roundabouts look, shall we? This shit's dangerous. I gotta go into gear to get into the roundabout. We're in the roundabout. We're heading to my man, National Ace Pigeon, National Ace Sprint Pigeon of the Year, Derek Walsh. We're gonna go over and do a little surprise loft tour, just a little like a warm up, you know. I've been photographing his birds all day. They look fantastic. I still got a few more to go. There's the man himself, Derek Walsh. We're coming for you, Derek. And there you see, as we drive, we're going to visit Derek. We're gonna get a little, uh, a little taste of my man, Derek. I, uh, I met up with him yesterday. We had a great time, some good laughs. Lots of fun. Four hundred meters, as they say, you got to turn right. So I didn't even know that the uh, the GPS there would uh, would work while I'm on Facebook. Tracy, what's going on, Tracy? I'm staying at the the Tracy Hotel, and that's something. We're doing some standarding. We got the we got the the manual transmission here, which is always fun. And you guys are going to get to meet this national phenom, Sprint Machine. He's got the DiCaprio blood, the Vandenbalk blood. You name it, he wins it. When the birds go in the basket, Derek Walsh normally pulls out a win. And he doesn't do it, again, with one pigeon. He does it with a team of pigeons, a group of pigeons. Just wanted to show you guys sort of the way of the road here. Don't be hey James Timothy Walters, what's going on? If I didn't see you, you're on. Hey Tracy, hey Chris. What's up guys? We're driving to Derek Walsh's. Lots of fun, lots of fun. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're bringing this to you. What's up, Peevler, in the house? We're a couple minutes away from the man himself, Derek Walsh. He didn't wave. Thought that guy was gonna wave. The grass is always very green in Ireland. It's super green, extraordinarily green. I seen people cutting the grass today. I don't even know. It's like cool here and the grass grows. It's amazing. I will say, the pigeons that Derek has are second to none. They're absolutely phenomenal in your hands. They're the good ones. They got the muscle, the buoyancy, uh, the feather quality. Lofts are awesome. We started to do some of the loft tours today. I said I had to re-meet back up with my man, Derek. And uh, you're seeing, it's getting nighttime here. It's about, uh, just about five o'clock or maybe a little past five. As we drive, come on guys, don't be shy. If you guys have questions for Derek, let me know. Not too far away now. Awarded the National Ace Pigeon, short distance, all Ireland. Derek Walsh, five-year-old cock. A machine. I handled them. Oh boy, these fingers, eh? Amazed what these fingers have handled. Guys, don't be shy. Say hi. Come on, you guys. Come on here. You got to say hi. If you can't say hi, what 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 are we doing? 200 meters, we're going to make a hard right. We're going to right it off hard. 
100 meters. Here we go. We're getting close to, to the Walsh man's loft. Hello, hello, Gary Weir. Hey, buddy, what's up? We are moments away from meeting the legend Derek Walsh, Van den Balk, DiCaprio, a little bit of Pitbull bloodlines. The best of the best of the best. Where do you guys go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions opening up first will be Formula One. That's right, John Gladwin, Formula One. Golden Doif winner. Golden Doif winner. Look up how you win the Golden Doif and you'll see. Very tough. Second up on the list of auctions that are going to open up is May Pigeons. Josh and Darren May, sprint champions of all UK. They're kicking ass, taking names. And then here you go, right here. We're coming up to my man, the man himself, Derek Walsh. There he is, look at, look at him. He's kind of just like a, kind of just like a, he's a champion, you can see it. Can you see the champion this? Let's go and see him. Let's go and meet him. Let's mic him up, too. We got to mic him up. If we don't mic him up, he's trying to get in my car. I'm going to mic him up. Derek, Brian, you, you... No, Derek, you're just... You pulled the cold weather with you. Listen, I didn't bring anything with me. <laughs> Who, is it? Who is this? This is Kruger. Kruger. This is Kruger. Did, have, have you named a pigeon after Kruger? No, no. This well, is the second Kruger we've had. Hold on, guys. Oh, why do I got the light on? We want to shut this shit off. My light off? No, my light's still on, guys. Hold on a second. Let's see. Hey, Kaiser. There we go. We got the lights off. Hey, Derek. Just come here for a second. Hello, everybody. You're very welcome. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Feel like the I traveled so far <laughs> to meet this guy. You are the man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hello, what? everyone. You're what all very welcome. Are, what are you doing with these pigeons? You're doing, oh, I don't you're, know. You're doing shit that's unbelievable. No, you really are. You're winning. You smell They're like... They're going well. You smell like brute. I put brute on the pigeons. I told you about that earlier on. You have, eh? <laughs> Guys, this guy leaves no stone unturned. I've seen him in his yard today. He's seen a stone on the ground. And he turns it over. There was nothing underneath us. Come on. Hey, you want to go look at some pigeons? Yep, come on hey, in. Hey, guys, you want to see some stuff? We're going to show you some stuff. We're with Derek Walsh. You're the 2021 National Ace Pigeon. In Ireland. So yes. What, what, is, that a, is that tricky to win, or can anybody do it? <laughs> well, I think it's, it's based on the best, uh, best performance for an individual pigeon, okay, in the old bird category. I think there's one then as well for the young bird. But we've only done two races with the young birds, so um, we got runner up in the federation with that. But the old birds were was really our season, you know. We right. Did phenomenally well with it. I got a question. Go. Look at the grass. How Wait, green it is. Look, look in the camera. How look green it camera. is. Look how the grass. Looks. You just want to take that home with you. <laughs> now, do you play a lot of golf? No. Okay. I have a bit of an addictive personality. That's one of the reasons so why I just have pigeons. You just have pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're with Derek Walsh. Yes, that's right. Sprint Phenom leaves no stone unturned. You will not see. I've seen him actually go through all these little stones here. Counted them. Every one of them are counters. So, hey, just, guys, you got to tune in for our loft tour. We've been working with Derek on this. We got here a quick what? Old bird, widowhood, young well, bird. What we have here on the, on the left hand side is, is the, the young bird loft, and then the widowhood loft is up here, and, and in the middle, then we, we, we put the hangs. But I'll give you a quick look. I just, put, I just put on the lights there. You've turned on the lights? Oh, what's they generally, I like I, this one right here. What's this little loft here? A holding loft? That's just an aviary that I put the hens in during the winter. Hens in in during the winter? Yeah, there's just a rack underneath. There's plenty of air going through. Hey, where'd you get this loft from? 
Uh, that's a Petron loft. It's one of the uh, Royal lofts from Peter Hall. Peter put that up in 2015. He was here himself. Uh, I don't believe he's doing the lofts anymore now. The Petron lofts are gone? Yeah, he's finished doing them. Uh, he's, he's Peter is 80 now, you know. For, for our North American market, uh, and, and this is a rough... In incidentally, no, incidentally, just to interrupt you. He actually built the lofts for the Queen as well. What? Hold yeah. on. Let's make sure you're not lying right no. through his eyes. Absolutely. Petron Loss built the loss for, for who? the Queen. The Queen who? Queen Elizabeth. There's only one Queen Elizabeth. You yeah. know, she's Canadian as well. Is she? You know, we have her on our money. You I don't do. have any money do. with me, but if... And Australia. Oh, wait a minute. You have no money with you. There's no point in coming over here with no money. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Pull that out. Absolutely. Take a look. What's on the front of it? Flip it around. Flip it around. Does she look as good there? Is Queen she Elizabeth. The, is she the same queen as She's you? the very same one. Now, um... The very same woman. So we're sharing, the, we're sharing the same woman. Absolutely. She actually was here on a visit to Ireland. Really? Uh, some years back. Uh, I think it was probably the first um, visit from the monarch in probably 100 years, you know. So. A yeah. hey, quick question. A loft like this. Chris Williams says hi. You Hiya, know, Chris. You know Chris. I do, yeah. The, 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 uh, he says great pigeons. Are these pigeons that good? Uh -huh. Is it you or is it the pigeons? Well, it's probably a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. I guess without good pigeons, you're no good. And without you, maybe they're no good. So is it 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, 20 What is a good pigeon? That's a How do you get good pigeons? Well, the closest you can get for it is, is getting a pigeon that has... The, the right DNA in it. Like, there's no guarantee he's going to breed winners, but you certainly have a better chance breeding from a pigeon that has the correct DNA than one that doesn't. That's right. And you That's know what? Simple. You've got to be willing to gamble. There's no, yeah, there's no... Um, hey, listen, you've bought a lot of good pigeons, and they, sometimes they haven't turned out. Correct? Oh, yeah, more so than not. Right. More so than not. And sometimes you buy a pigeon that you didn't expect it. You had a good feeling, but it wasn't the heaviest hitter. And it turned out to be super, did it not? Yeah, but sometimes when you buy a pigeon and you get a gut feeling about it, you're prepared to go that extra with it than a pigeon that you buy and you didn't really have that gut feeling about. You know, a gut feeling is a big thing, you know, with pigeons. Yeah, it's an internal feeling. Yeah. And we call that a little bit of stock sense. Come on, we're getting drowned. Now, look at the glass balls. Derek has these balls on the top of his lap. Right. I'm going to tell you why you're on here. In the, do you know in Pictorial Magazine, the Pigeon Magazine, they put out the top 50 best looking pigeon flyers? Now, I was number nine. You were number seven. I didn't get it. Was there, you, is there a royalty check in the you know, post? You know, you, know, you, know Dar, you know Darren May? Yes. Yeah, his, he was 26. <laughs> the list goes on and on. The balls on top, <laughs> lads, are basically to deter the sparrowhawks from attacking the pigeons. Hey, quite. In 2015, we lost around 50 young birds from the sparrowhawks around <laughs> here. We put these up in 2016. Yeah. And what they do, because the sparrowhawks are territorial, they'll come, they'll attack the pigeons. But this, it'll actually throw them off for a few minutes and it'll give the pigeon enough time just to break to get away. And what you're saying is, they don't stop the kill, no. They give the pigeon a... A quarter of a second, yeah, but look, a fraction. Uh, yeah, but look, a lot of the time the sparrowhawks will kill the pigeons because the pigeons are too fat after the winter. Take a look. You're looking at him right here. The man, the Superman. He's at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Now remember, hold on. Guys, we're not on a football match. <laughs> Guys, i got to remember something. When you go into Derek, Derek's loft, I, I have to do this. Come down. I have to come down. So, guys, for the rest of this, I'm going to be a little quieter. Sorry about that. Okay. My apologies. Come on. This is the young bird loft. Now, there is no young birds here. Okay. These pigeons here, these ones, the vast majority of them are going with Feathers Elite for auction. Wait, hey, Derek. Derek. I know you like the mealy. Derek. 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 You know what I'm going to call him? I'm going to call him Derek. Impossible to get. <laughs> hey, tell me about this guy right here. He, he is... Uh, his father is Bess Sagan. Bess Sagan was first National Flying Club this year. 
Uh, he's got, he's probably one of the best, ra actually he is the best racer we've ever had. Uh, he's second fed 3,500 pigeons, first national 3,500 pigeons, different races he's ha he has about, I think maybe 12 top 20 fed positions up to 3,500 pigeons. Wow, what a pigeon, eh? Yeah, and he's got two sisters there as well. So this one here on the left, this is um, a son of Nero. Nero would be the father of Trigger, first national, 11,000 pigeons. And his mother, his mother is a daughter of Bess Kittle, when Bess Kittle was paired to a sister of Olympic Rosita. Now, the mother of that pigeon that we have here is a full sister to first national KBDB in 2020. We purchased it from, uh, direct from Thomas Guys right in Pippa Breeding Centre. Hey, question for you. Is mm. this the nice silver, that's a that's a hen? No, it's a cock. Well, actually, I think it's a cock. Okay, what is it? What is this blue pied? He's a cock. Shit. Mm. How are you going to pair them together? Great difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you're here with Derek Walsh. i got to be calm. You're in his young bird loft. We want to give you a quick sneak peek. We're not going to do a whole tour. You're going to have to tune in for that shit. But <laughs> I, again, I wanted to thank you for bringing us in. No worries. You're more than welcome. Hey, I just, because I was lying on the camera, what type of pigeons you got? I said you had Vandenbalk, DiCaprio. Well, most of the pigeons are from DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Yeah, the, now, the, the, we had a son and daughter of DiCaprio that we sold to China. But before they went, we took about, 20, about 32 children from them. Right. Four of them are double grandchildren. Now, oh, how good? This how, the thing. Oh, they're superb. Look, the, they're just they're the phenomenal. The DiCaprio birds are this good. Yeah. Well, let me just explain about the DiCaprio pigeon. Okay. DiCaprio himself has the cannibal blood in him, right? The cannibal. Yeah, and oh, he's boy. The, he's actually a grandson of the Olympiad. The father of the, is a pigeon called Jackpot. Air camp uh, has him. Um, oh, this white pied here, right here. You know what? He's a grandson of Goldust. Wow. And Grandson of gold dust. His mother is a granddaughter of uh, Greipel. I'll try and keep it calm here. Mm. You love war painting. Eh? You like that name, don't you? Well, I trademarked it. Andy Cook says, <laughs> Andy Cook says hi. Hi, Andy. You know Andy? Uh, came across him, yeah. He, he, he owes me a breakfast, so he, now he owes you one. Okay, okay. No problem. We're just playing with you, Andy. This guy here is... Uh, He's a grandson of Greipel, and his mother is Trevor's Lass. Trevor's Lass is bred the very, very same way as Pitbull, and she's incidentally the grandmother to first up North Combine winner, 11,500 pigeons as well. That pigeon, believe it or not, um, I sold him and I bought him back. I sold him and I shouldn't have. Uh, this guy here? Yeah, I sold so you, him. So you, guys, we're just going to tell you something. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we're going to host an auction for you. And you guys all know. Buy more about myself, is it? <laughs> well, no. But this is the confidence that Derek has in his own pigeon. Now watch this. You see this guy right here? He just talked about him, the blue white flight. Mm. What did you do with I that? Bought, I bought him back. You bought him back? I've, I've done that a few times with pigeons. Pigeons I, I, that I've sold and wasn't really quite because you can't keep them all. It's just impossible to keep every pigeon. You just can't do it. Pigeons are in great condition. Yeah. They, they just get, to be honest with you now, I keep them very much to natural, clean, fresh, clean water. Hey, and guys, the condition on these pigeons. Derek, they look like they've been, the feathers have been painted on. And I'm just not saying that to blow snow, uh, smoke. Mm. It's the truth. They're in phenomenal condition. This blue white flight here is, uh, his father is... A brother to the father of, Kit of Kittle and Greipel. Kittle pigeon, and Greipel. Pigeon called Bunton Dirk. He's up there, you'll see him shortly. And his mother is a double granddaughter of Olympic Rosita. There you have it, guys. Take a look at the pigeons here. See the quality? Winning, winning. Now, you've only been back in the game for how long? 2015. <clears throat> so what, would you, what is that now, eight years? Seven. Seven years. You're crushing it. Well, they're doing well, you know, they're doing well, but and I love it, you know, to be yeah. honest with you. It's not about anything else, and you just, I, it's, um, you know, pigeons are a way of life, really, aren't they? You know, they're either a hobby or you want to win. It's very hard to do, too. You can't have a hobby and, and expect to be at the top as well, you know. Who's this guy right here with the third bar? Oh, he is, he is a, uh, his father is a direct 
brother to First National Ace KVDB, Sagan, and his mother is a double granddaughter of DiCaprio. Now, I've been hearing something about this bird, Sag Sagan. Yeah. Patrick Bork, yeah. Super pigeon. And you he's, a he's a grandson of Blau Leo. Blau Leo is a grandson of the Olympian. But the thing about it, uh, I was telling you about the DiCaprio pigeons. What's mostly in the DiCaprio pigeons um, is cannibal. Like the son and daughter of DiCaprio that I had here, the, they were grandchildren of cannibal as well. And the uh, DiCaprio himself has cannibal in him, you know, so. Heavy hitting pigeons, eh? Oh, yeah. They're the super pigeons, They're really, like you know? tailwind? Yeah. They like a headwind? You can't look, come here. Headwinds and tailwinds are out of your control. You can't control How them. How do they like green grass? <laughs> I have no idea about that one. I don't allow where, them to, where, I don't, Where are we going now? We're going farther in? I don't allow them into the grass. You don't? Do you not allow them? No. Ever? No. Really? No. Why? Why Why would I? There's only, there's only muck and dirt and stuff. and You know, the dogs would be down there as well. And, I just don't allow them into the grass. Why well, do you don't need to be in the grass? Okay, you're hearing it. I'm asking him. Look at this pied. Who's the pied? He's a grandson of Grapel. I don't know what the mother is. Um, I think oh, she's the, a I think she's at, a double granddaughter. Look at the of blue. Kittle. The blue in the corner. That's a, that's a grand. Oh, that's a, he is the far one. The one right in the back corner. That's a grandson of the Caprio. Oh. And his father is a grandson of the Olympiad. Yes, please. Look at this pigeon here. Oh, my. This is a son of Max. Max is the grandson of the Caprio. Yeah, he looks like Max. I see him always. He's got the same head. And so when Max is pure back to his mother. The best of the best here at mm. the Walsh Pigeons. Just give you a quick look up here. Shh, just a quick one. we got to be very quiet. Just be quiet. I'm not even going to talk anymore. That, well, that'll be a good one. That'll be a hard one. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait. This guys, is... guys, guys. You're about to see invisibility, invisible hens. This is where we keep the hens that are going to be paired to the widowhood cocks. They're all self-closing boxes. Now they're a bit, because of the winter, they're at the timbers have the swelling a bit. But all the hens will be here Whoa. through the winter. Sorry, through the racing season. They won't be allowed to see each other, so we'll pull the curtain across and they'll be uh, uh, completely on their own. Um, and look at the graded floor. It goes all the way down. So this is, this is a totally graded all the way through. Well, just here it is anyway, yeah. Now, oh, guys. Guys, I'm not allowed to talk at all. No, you can't. But just be, just be mindful. Hey, have you ever roasted any marshmallows in here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the widowhood loft. This is the widowhood loft. Most of the pigeons here, you can just quickly have a quick look at the rolling on their nest there. That is a little pigeon auction. We're just going to be real calm. You are in a true sprint widowhood loft. And guys, this is very rare to, to, for Derek to allow anybody in this loft. You're getting a real treat today. Does nobody, it, nobody comes in here. Nobody comes in here, guys. Only Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions is giving you this opportunity. I don't like to bother them. You see everything. You're going to have to tune in for our loft tour to see this. What you see is what you get. There's no bullshit, there's no smoke, there's no mirrors. You see the war paint on the pigeons, you can see it. War paint wins. Quality wins. This is the best of the best of the best. The Vandenbalk, Sagan, DiCaprio. Uh, Come on up here. I gotta go up there. Now I gotta stand up and my knees are gonna crack. Oh, we're going to see my favorite. He's taking me. He's going to take me to Ryan's gift. These are some of the pigeons that we're even racing. There's we even race her. She's a granddaughter of uh, the 992, the brother of the Good Road. So when he is paired with a granddaughter of the Olympian and the Caprio. Guys, look at the look at the quality of these pigeons. Look at the attitude. Tell me about this this blue grizzle here. That's, uh, he's a 2018 pigeon. Guys, just watch how Derek, watch, watch Derek with the pigeons. He's done quite well for us now. He's never been first prize, but he's been very consistent with the uh, top 10 prizes. Hey, question. But maybe, like, he could be a bit, hmm. You don't mind grizzles? You don't mind red pies, mealy pies, no. blue pies, checker pies? No. No. 
what a what a beautiful setup. Beautiful health on these pigeons. This little hen here. Yeah. Her father is a brother of Sigan, and her mother is a daughter from Bull Two and the Caprio. This little hen up here is a direct daughter of Bunt and Dirk, when Bunt and Dirk was paired with a daughter of the Caprio. This hen here, she's a granddaughter of Best Kittle and Nero. Hey, can I move in? Hmm? I'm, ready, I'm ready to quit my job at Feathers Elite and I'm gonna come and live here. Well, I'll tell you one, it's bloody cool to be living down here. You've got a grizzle, you, there's the, he is from, his father is a double grandson of DiCaprio. Oh, look at the character. Look at the character, eh? Can yeah. you see it? His double grandson of DiCaprio and his mother is from uh, Olympic Rosita. Hey, where's the, where's the, hmm? where's, where's my bird? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's outside. <laughs> You've got a grizzle in, coming in the auction. He's yeah. the father of the pigeon. He is, uh, oh, yeah. his mother. His mother, you've got a grizzle coming in your auction, right? The mother, this is the father, 26. but this guy's father, mm -hmm. this guy, sorry, this guy's mother is Golden Blau Lady, right? She's one of our top three breeding hens. This year, she bred, first fed 3,700 pigeons, uh, second INFC, which arrived with the first, and so on. I, think, I, f I, feel like, I feel like I could be having a heart attack or something. Don't want to imagine, no insurance here. <laughs> They're going, to, they're going to drop down, make sure you don't break the grills. <laughs> hey, Darren May is asking, do you have any supers with band number 26? Supers? Like with the ring number 26. This is our number for this year. Big what? things are going to happen with the number 26. Stay tuned, watch what happens. Have you ever won a national with the first 26? With, with a, a 26 in the number? No, 26 maybe on the drop, 26 in the number. Mm, we won a section this year with the first 48, 43. First 43? How do you do that? What do you think it is? That was the first race. The second race then we did the first 18 in the Fed. And there were 1,800 pitches in that. And the following week then, we took the first nine in the National Flying Club. And actually the tenth bird in the National Flying Club, we also bred as well for Bulger family. This loft, I get a feeling in it. I don't know what it is. It's a different feel than any loft I've ever been in. And I've been to a lot of lofts, and I've been to super lofts. I get a different feel. I'm not sure what it is, but I've, this is just a very content, they're okay with me. Yeah, I put a lot of thought into everything. Even the, even the base, see the bases here of these, right? Yeah. Even these bases, they're all waterproof those bases, unlike the sides of the top. Why? Because, you know, if the droppings are damp, it's not going to break up our, um, the integrity of the surface where germs and everything can live in it. So it's kept the whole time, you know? And, and is it the nicest day here? No, look at, the, look, at, look at the even the lighting. You're not shy for a light bulb in here. Do you ever sleep in the loft? No, no. There's a son of, of uh, Max uh, DiCaprio. And uh, we're gonna just try and find the pigeon that won the national race for you here. Bolt Plus, I call him. Come on. I'm come, following come. Derek Walsh, guys. We just let him do his thing. You see, you're in the Widowhood Loft. You're not allowed to be in here, but we've brought you here. There's a son of Mr. Mr. Blue Skies. Mr. Blue Skies is up there. He won the, uh, the national in 2017. And also, Mr. Blue Skies bred first national this year, which is very, very rare that you get a, a national winner breeding a national winner. Hey, Leah wants to see the one. Which one? The pretty one. Okay, come on. Which pretty one? The real pretty one, you know. The, the one you want. Listen. Your pretty I, one. Listen, are you really, are you going to give it to me? <laughs> Guys, if I could get a pigeon, it's the pretty one. Oh. Uh, How did I pick a pretty one and it's a good one? I'm going to send you to Hollywood. You're going to Hollywood. I'm going to Hollywood? Ryan Spielberg, you're going Ryan to Hollywood. Ryan Spielberg, okay. We gotta be calm, we gotta be calm. Oh my God. Here is the... Ryan, you feel like, I don't even know that word. There's breakaway. 
So, so what, who's Breakaway? Tell me, tell me about him. Leave him. Okay. He looks good. He looks good. Tell he, me about uh, him. He didn't perform all that well last year, but... <laughs> Tell me what the you first think. year, yeah, the first the first year as a yearling. Now he was first fed three thousand five hundred pigeons, six fed three thousand pigeons. He has about maybe five or six top ten fed positions in the uh, in our fed. Okay. There's Bold Plus over there, and the guy in the corner. His guy won the national the, lace pigeon. Yeah. The blue bar. Yeah. So that blue bar cock yeah, right there. Yeah, with the red ring. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about him. Okay. He's a daughter. Sorry. He's a son from superstar Bold. Superstar Bolt is probably one of the most prolific breeding hens, I'd say, uh, in Europe at the moment. The results from her are just phenomenal. There's another half-brother to him over there, the Mealy. Leah, there you go, right here. Would you call him a Mealy or a Recessive, or what do you call that? No, I don't know. I just call him a what, Mealy. What's, has he flown well for you? He's won two feds. He, was, he arrived with the First National as well, and the, uh, the Ford arrived together. There's Bolt Plus now, look a nice pigeon, nice cock, isn't he? Now the, the other half of them, I have to give credit where it's due, the other half of them comes from Andre Rudhoft. Wow. From his, the Tom line. The Tom. And his grand, his, his, that guy's father is a daughter of First National Garrett for Andre. Now, as you see. And funny enough, I saw the father in 2017. I, you know, Derek, I want to thank you. We looked in the loft of pigeons in the young bird loft that you're holding for yourself. And I seen a lot of war paint. And you know what? People say, oh, war paint sells. War paint doesn't win races. You pointed out to me the pie. There's, see them two put together? Yeah. They're nest mates, brother and sister. That's Breakaway. That's his nest sister. She has bred last year, fed ace pigeon of the year. Fed ace pigeon of the year. Fed she ace has. pigeon. Hey, what do they both have? War paint. Show me the blue bars. Where's the super cock? Gary is the national, right? The Olympic pigeon, or the, uh, yeah. the ace pigeon, right here. A yep. blue bar. Yep. Where's Mr. Handsome? Where's my guy? Where's the pigeon you're... Uh, are you giving him to me, or am I just taking him? What, uh, Which one? Which oh. one are you speaking about? Where's, where is he? Where's the, where's the funny colored one? Which one? They are disguised. Why don't we call him Glenn? Well, he has, he's, got a, he's got a very nice name on his pedigree. Do you want to know what his pet name is? Don't lie to me. Catch Wait. me if you can. <laughs> he's that good. So why don't we call him Sweet Home Canada? He is also a half-brother to First National 11,000 Pigeons. And he's yeah. also a half-brother to Best Sagan. Now, in my... The breeding in him is phenomenal. In my vehicle, mm -hmm. I took some photos. What do we have related to this guy? Because I know there's something special in there. Is it a half... half Brother or a half sister? Um, yeah, the half, half sister. The, half me sister. the Mealy Pied is a half sister. Mealy now, Pied. I'll tell you about the Mealy Pied. She's a daughter from uh, Superstar Bolt. And the father of the Mealy Pied is a son from a brother of First National Ace Pigeon Bolt from Leo Herman. A pigeon called Sturkin Bolt. You'll see him, he's up above in the loft above. You have some heavy pigeons here. Mm. Well, why don't you go up to the, uh, well, we can't the breeders? We, we can't show them the breeding loft. I mean, there's there's 60 people on the line right now. No, you can show them. Why not? You really want to? Do yeah. you think they deserve it? Why not? We could. We could if you wanted to. These pigeons, a lot of these pigeons have all top five national pigeons. And this guy here, he is... Uh, his father is above as well. He, Marcel Sanger has bred his father. He won first fed for me. He has 10th national, 5th fed. His brother, his nest brother, for Leonard Bulger, won two first, national, two first federations and one national in the one year as a young bird. What's going to be your best cock this year? Who do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, don't know. how about we say this one? The pretty one, if he's the very best one? I think this guy will do it because he's... <laughs> he's, uh, he's super. Yeah, this there's another nice pigeon over here. His father is grandson of the Caprio and his mother mm. his mother is a double granddaughter of Shea. You know. They're in nice condition, aren't they? They're in super condition. Mm. Let's keep going, cut. You wanna know why? why? You've given them already too much. Okay, well I've gotta turn off the lights as we're going out. Guys, and finally look, you just take one more look. Take a look down.
You know what the people are saying? What? Show us more. Show us more. Well, come on then. Y you guys don't even realize what you're about. What you're seeing here. This is a widowhood machine. Oh well. Is it true? Hmm? Look! Look at how intelligent these pigeons are. All, all the pies, it, it, all these pigeons are the Olympiad, the Caprio pigeons with Dirk van den Bulk pigeons in it. Probably leaning more so to maybe 65% Olympiad and 30% uh, van den Bulk and there's a little bit of Carlan in there. I'm going to tell you something. Mm. I see why you're winning. No. These pigeons well, you better are, tell me later on then, because I don't know. These pigeons, even with me in here, they're showing the Careful. magic. <laughs> they're showing the magic. Okay. Hey, do you ever, do you ever, do you ever, uh, what? Do you ever? Loads of times. <laughs> We're having fun here. Guys. We're having fun. We're having fun. We're having fun. Loads Derek of times. Derek Walsh. 20, 2021. Natural ace. Pigeon sprint. It was a tough one to win. Thank God I wasn't flying against him because I might have beaten him. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got to feel good, you know. In the water they have today. Yeah. In the water they have today, they have some Tolliman Forte from Schroeder Tollison. Right. About two days a week they'll get some iodine in the water. And uh, the other days they'll have uh, clean water. But I'm a great believer in the tea. You know the tea? I know. They get that. So, Ooh. yeah. The very, very best. Man, the pigeons look great. How do you like those uh, self cleaners? They okay? They Not are. Bad? There's a little bit, of, little bit of maintenance on them. I had to ring a friend of mine the other day because sometimes when at, the, at the other end of the roller, they might get a bit of dirt goes in underneath it and it, it goes around on the bucks. I'm a pain to, to get it sorted, but you know, when I have a bit of time, I'll get it done. There's that nice pigeon you liked. Oh, you mean this is the. Hmm? You know what? Maybe we should do with this one. I know. I don't like it. I don't, I don't want to hear it. You know what? Maybe we should just. <laughs> we've got we've got a lot of people on the line. Maybe we should just. Maybe we should. <laughs> Maybe we should. You think we should put it in the auction? No. What are you. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, it's just pretty. I know. Howie, how many more can you breed? I could breed a few of them, but we won't breed. Look, Mom, come on, we go anywhere. Listen, I always push. I always push my breeders. Guys, we're in Derek Walsh's loft. I can get back to my regular level. I get, gotta get back to the regular level. Regular program. Oh, oh. Wow, what a beautiful loft. I still like the globes on the top. They're handy because they do prevent the uh, the attacks. Oh man. Well, even if they don't do them, you hey, know, once you're satisfied, can I ask you a question? once you're satisfied that you can do, you've done all you can. Hold to on. help the pigeons. The, the pretty one out there, the one that you don't want to get rid of. The, one, cannot, the one I'm not getting rid of. The one yeah, you don't <laughs> want to, you know. Go on. That pigeon. They want us to do a live auction right here, right now on that pigeon. We're going to start the bidding off on that pigeon. Have you got the hammer? 3,000 pounds. 3,000 takes it, I promise you. 3,000 pounds will take it. Unless we get 4,000, then that person will take it. It only goes up in 1,000 pound increments. Do you want to know why? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we bring it to you live here, even on Facebook. We have to be quiet. We're going into the next one. Okay, I don't mind. Look. No, there. It's only down the Widowhood Loft. I tend really to keep mind. quiet with the pigeons. Well, I didn't even be in here yet. Oh, look oh, this. No, this code. is only a... That's the code to get in. Yeah. How it's only, do that? This is only a handy loft, right? Wait, this is a what? It's only put together. It's not... Just no great shakes. These are two youngsters here from, these are from Greipel and Superstar Bolt put together. It's the first time I ever had a coupling from them. Who are they? From Greipel oh, yeah. and Superstar Bolt. Do you think these would go in my suitcase? <laughs> I think the bowl could go in your suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're having some fun here. So this, this, is your, this is your main breeding loft? Yeah, well, it's the only breeding loft. <laughs> so we're gonna say it's, that's okay. That's okay. 
It's the main. Ryan, watch out. He's going to sick the dogs after you. This is this is um, a son from a jackpot. What? Tell air, me the, tell air, me the, tell tell jackpot me the, is the father of the Caprio. Jackpot is the father yeah. of the Caprio. And this guy here is, who's this guy here? Yeah, that is, um, I think Johan Donkers in Belgium is an excellent flyer, right? He has the Astuff, the ace pigeon, in 972. That's a direct son from him. Funny enough, I should say that, I actually bought that pigeon back twice as well. Now here's a particularly nice hen, but I, I would say she's probably the only one bred like her in the world. Remember guys, her mother, her father, now I bred her in 2020, she's been down the Avery all year, never bred off her last year or anything like that. I left them all mature for a year down there. Her mother is the uh, daughter of Bess Kittle and her father is half brother to the father of Kittle and Grapel. Hey, when, when you're handling pigeons, what do you look for in your hands? I don't know, nothing, I don't know, nothing, I don't know, I don't know. You know, all these things about stuff like that and eyes and, you know, they're only all opinions. I don't know what you'd be looking for. She's a nice pigeon though, isn't she? You know, once, once they're healthy, that's all I can look for, you know. She's super healthy. Well, yeah, once the pigeon is healthy, that's all. Guys, where do you guys go to bid? Feathers yeah. Elite Pigeon Auctions, FIPA.ca. Come on. FIPAUK.com. Derek Walsh, the man himself, will be at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions opening up very soon. This is, come, come. Oh. This is Blue Ace. Now you love this pigeon. Well, I won't say I love him. I paid a lot of money. I paid 10,000 euro for him. But he's a, um, he was first the Ace Pigeon in Grob and Donk in 2015. Okay. And he's also the father of tremendous medical winners. He's also the father this year for first and third two nest mates uh, the National Flying Club. He was in 2013 as a young bird. He was second ace pigeon behind guess who? Behind Kittle. Behind Kittle. So this is well John Aguin go on Strange when he sees you. Well, now, this got, hen over he's here. Got the camera. He's got, it's okay. This he, hen here. He could fit in my suitcase too. He could, yeah. <laughs> no, we're just. Playing. This hen here. Oh. I bred her myself. Her her father is a son of Gerard Koopman's Klein Dirk. She's a granddaughter of Klein Dirk. So this is a granddaughter of the Klein. Yeah, Klein Dirk. I bred her in 2015. She bred phenomenal pigeons for me. She's an old pet, really. 2015. Mm -hmm. And her, fa her mother is a granddaughter of the Caprio. Her mother is actually down below. And her mother, it's when her mother was paired to a pigeon called the 41 cock. Now, okay. Paul McElhoney would know who ah. the 41 cock is because Camelot would be the, yes. would be a grandson of the 41 cock. This is my... Oh, oh we're going to have to handle him. This is Max. Oh, look at the feather. Oh, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Look at the feather quality on the back. Do you see it? It's like he's got spoilers. Yeah. You see the, the, touch talk about him before you pick him up. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal breeder. He had two youngsters. He's a grandson of the Caprio, and his mother is down below. She's a granddaughter of Golden Bolt with a little bit of Gert Halen in him. Now, he is a tremendous pigeon. This fella has a yearling when first fed 3,000 pigeons. Look at the eye on that. Hold on. He's bred a phenomenal amount of national and fed winners for us. I stopped him after at the time. Why, I don't know, because I probably didn't know any different. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything you want. Could you hold this camera? Because you know what I'm about to ask you for. To hold him. How did you know? You're a mind reader. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to hold, hold some more. Hey, let's start the bidding off at 75000 <laughs> I refused uh, a lot of money for him. 
Uh, I refuse thirty grand for him. You know, not. I'm going to tell you. Mm. This is the way God intended He's a pigeon to be. Incredible. Yeah. He was first federation three thousand pigeons, and uh, he's bred phenomenal amount of pigeons. He's tight. He's... Oh, he's unbelievable! Yeah. Hey, for the audience, if you guys were here, we've got thirty-eight bred like him. One word to describe this: phenomenally perfection. Mm. Perfection, perfection. Here, I'm going to hand it back to you. No, leave them. Okay, go on. Just leave them in. Leave them in on his nest. Yeah, now he probably okay so let's let's just have a look out into the aviary there so you can see some of the pigeons there ryan no some of the there's a son of gold dust a son of gold dust how old is mac someone's asking 2016 there's yeah. trevor's lass what the checker no the, the pied no, the pied there's a double grandson of the caprio chasing her there's best kittle wait where's best kittle see her right oh, in front of the other the one hen, yeah. The, yeah the checker pied hen yeah okay there's up here on the left oh, oh, is a son of the oh. 992. Who's the who's the guy with the bib? He is he's a grandson of Kittle, Blau Leo, the forty thousand and I can't think what He'd look know. really good at my place. I just I'm just saying I was, you know what I have no thinking the same I know, thing. I, absolutely. I was thinking the very same Listen, thing. Listen, would you would you adopt me? <laughs> there is superstar bolt up here, the, the blue hen. Okay. Uh, here's the blue cock up here with, with the blue ring. That's Mr. Blue Skies. Mr. Blue Skies. First National, bred First National. And there's some of Greipel over here. Uh, this is a collection of pigeons. Of new King. Second to none. Two grandchildren of the Caprio and Sagan. Double grandson of the 992. 992. Mm -hmm. Double grandson of Best Kittle. Inbred. The Olympiad. So now let's go in and we see the. Uh, there's more. Oh yeah, we didn't even see the, we the other ones yet. We didn't see what? The other ones yet. The other ones. Oh no, there's more to this. More to this story. Okay. So here we have. I'll oh, be quiet. Son of Sagan. Phenomenal breeder up to 25,000 pigeons and father of first National Flying Club last year. Double granddaughter of Rosita. Double grandson of DiCaprio. Hold on, we talk about feathered feet. Yeah. But there's two more of them in there like that. Double granddaughter of the 992. There's a son of Leo's legend here. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? There's a double granddaughter of Kittle. Hey, are you having fun yet? <laughs> I'll show you the, uh, come with me. You know what they say the Irish way is? Here is, over here in the corner, mm. is the grandson of the Olympiad and the Caprio. And there's his, his nest brother beside him. They're Those are two brothers. Phenomenal pigeons. They breed the good ones? Oh, Jesus. There's the brother of Sagan. Where? Up here. Uh -huh. Brother of Sagan. Um, there's the father of Trigger. There's Miracle Lady, Red National, and Fed Winners for us. Oh, well, look at Feather on her feet, too. Yeah, she's a phenomenal pigeon. Up here, then, we've got Sabina. She is the mother to Trigger. Next door here, we have... You come in behind me here. This fella seems to be muscling in on... Best of the best feathers leap pigeon auctions. Guys, I just gotta keep it calm. Where do you guys go to bid? Feathers leap pigeon auctions. Derek Walsh, yes. Opening very, very soon. Remember Formula One lots up first. May family, May pigeons next, then Walsh. National sprint. Here's a son of Dunk or Leo. And his mother is a uh, the daughter of Kittle. These are some heavy pigeons in a good way. Oh, you mm. got some. You got some nice pigeon, isn't he? Beautiful. Here's a nest sister of Max, granddaughter of the Caprio. She bred a phenomenal number of pigeons. The pigeon with him is Bunt and Dirk, brother to the father of uh, Kittle and Greipel. Now, he didn't fill for me last year, but 
and see how he goes this year. Super high on him, eh? Mm. Small and short pigeons, you know, but look. Come. Um. What's the mealy? The mealy is, his father is a son of Kittle and his mother is a full sister to Kittle. Now, I'll show you the Olympiad and uh, here is the father to Best Sagan. He's a son of Sagan. He's a, he's a, a son of Sturkin Bolt. He's a granddaughter of the Caprio and Cannon. The brother is Sagan. From a, from a brother of um, Kittle. Who's this lad? Oh, yeah. There is a son of Superman. Oh. The, the, the right Superman, the Snickers Donkers. I this, actually, this, this blue cock here, yeah, I, I want him. Yeah, I bought him as a youngster over in Snickers Donkers and I sold him and I shouldn't have sold him. And, so, I, and I tracked down the guy that, that owned him. the boat. Yeah, and I asked him there, ah, maybe over a couple of years, but he eventually said, yeah, he can have a loan back of him. So when are you going back there in December? So I want to try him with a few pigeons and give the man back some pigeons with him, you know, which would be nice. I like your black one. That is a pure Gus Jansen, bred by Clive Lister. Clive would have had the best of them up there in the UK because he got around it directly from. Now this, you come back in here, right? Them Sagan pigeons are a bit full of piss. No, not highly strong, you know. They tend to be. There's another grandson of the 992 bred by their family in bulk. Now you hold that pigeon and tell me what you're thinking. He's just sort of a grandson of the Caprio and of the Olympiad 03. That's what you call a sprint pigeon. Bred by Mark and Andy Darby. Buoyancy, power. He's big. He's big, but there's nothing to him. Yeah, he's super pigeon. And yeah. again, you see the wedge. He's just like a, like a pear. Yeah, I like. Yeah, exactly. I like the back of the pigeon, <clears throat> like a love heart. Like a heart. And and if you see, yeah, like a love heart. See the heart. heart. Mm. This guy is awesome. He breeds the good ones. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really, how good are? How good is he? First feds. First feds. Yep. What year is he? Jeez. 2014. You know, he feels like if he just got into my suitcase, he would be phenomenal. Like he would really make a difference in my travels. I never felt pigeons like this. Just the explosiveness. Where do you want me to put him? Put him back in with his hen. He's, that's a grand, granddaughter. Of, he's with a, a granddaughter of um, Kittle. Blau Leo and the 40,000. In fact, she's a Nesma. She bred first fed for me. Well, she know for Leonard. Uh, two years ago, two and a half thousand pigeons. When he was paired with her, actually, that's where they went you see back. See the character yeah. in these pigeons? Oh yeah. So the trays are just for the cleaning. Just simple. What I do is I put a bit of cement board, stuck a bit of cement board onto the bottom tray. It just helps dries the uh, the droppings up quicker. So. These down here then are just for little storage things that ever ever I want. Oh boy, eh? Aren't you fancy? Storage. Uh, look, little knobs and all. Anybody else will have a nail in it. <laughs> you know what we need so, right on this so wall? That's it. You know what we need on this wall right here? This a picture a, of me giving the thumbs up. This is a double grandson of uh, the Caprio. This guy's we sold his guy's parents for over fifty thousand euros. Let's see him. He's got probably got more cannibal in him. With, with the, the feathered Caprio. toes. Yeah, and... Uh, this is the one with the big feathered toes? No, well, he's one of them, but the other fella inside... Do you remember the blue-white yeah. fella you're looking at in the... Yeah. This is father. Funny enough, and that's his mother, bred by Marcel Sangers. His... Her, her father is a brother of... Kittle. Nice picture, isn't he? See, you don't know, like, <clears throat> you don't know what, what, what is a nice pigeon, what is the nice pigeon, you know, you don't know really, who knows, 
Because everyone's, everyone will pick something different, won't they? Well, sure. It's personal preference. Yeah, that's what it is. There's nothing. No, I mean, he's a nice cock. But funny enough, most of all the Olympia pigeons, they all have that type of a pearl eye. But he doesn't actually have it for some strange reason. He doesn't have it, look. But there you are. I'm sure he's, he doesn't know the difference. So you're not a no, believer I don't know. of eyesight? Eyesight's are only opinions. That's all. You know, and it's the only topic for conversation. Isn't that what pigeons are about? Topic of conversation. Some people just tend to take it a little bit too far at times. <clears throat> you know? There's the son of Sagan. Or the brother of Sagan there, yeah, one of them. <clears throat> now, if you can just stand back there for one second, Ryan. Or right here in front of the door? No, you just stand back over there for a moment, please. Okay. And, uh... You listen when he talks. Because I don't want the pigeon is getting two. Hey guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, FIFA.ca, on an island. This is very, very rare. Where we're at, I'm not trying to be loud. I have to be calm. This is tricky for me because this is like the candy shop again. Wow, super quality, super pigeons. Take a look. birds are just allowing me. I just took them in earlier on. There's nothing fancy here. Whatever works. Yeah. So they love going out into the every so I just let them off out and let them do what they want to do. So there's the son of Sagan. He's bred phenomenal pigeons now for poor Greg prior to getting them. And he's now paired with a daughter of Bonton Dirk when Bont and Dirk was paired with the double granddaughter of Olympic Rosita. So, there you are. Um, but yeah, I didn't even get to show you some of the other stock hens that are down below in the Avery. There's children there from Blaustaff, First National Ace KBDB 2016. Uh, Dirk van Dijk has the vision at the moment. There is, there is, oh, stay. I'll show you now. Here is uh, Trevor's lass. There's one guy, one, one of your followers. It was very interesting. She, this hen was bred by Carlene. She's a lovely hen. She's a grandmother. She's the mother of Breakaway down below. When right. paired, yeah, she's a beautiful hen. She looks just like a cock, eh? Yeah, she's beautiful. She's very rank. She's got the little little mm. horns on her face too. Yeah. She's a beautiful hen. Um, she is now paired with, in here, you can see him, a double grand. So there's the mother, um, the hen that Max is paired to. She is the mother to the grizzle you saw down below, the one that's going in the sale. Yeah. She is one of our top three breeding hens. Top three breeding hens right here. She, last year she was uh, mother to First Federation, First Federation, 3,500 pigeons the following week then. Um, he came with the second, the four of them came together, he clocked second in the INFC National. And uh, he only had a few couple of races, but he's done very well. She's lovely. See the lovely, when I say to you, you talked to me earlier on about temperament. You know, good pigeons will never give you any bother. Mark you Cowell. Don't, you, you don't even, good pigeons, you don't even know they're in the loft. Mark Cowell. Oh, yeah. He says, candy shop, making his mouth water. <laughs> oh, well. Listen, this is uh, this I'm going to sh show you Mr. Blue Skies now. Mr. Blue Skies. Guys, uh, hold on. If I can even show go, you. Even going front and back, back and front, it's all coming together here. That is Elite Pigeon Auctions. This is where you guys I'll go show you two more, more. Uh, two more from the Caprio and... Then I'll, I'll let them because I don't want to have them too. Come on, guys. Michael Michael Peevler wants to get you a, a shot of Irish whiskey. I don't drink, but I do. You can have the whiskey for me. Okay. 
Who is this? There is, see the boots on him? Holy jump. That is a double grandson of DiCaprio. That's the one I wanted to show you, but he's gone now. <laughs> it's not my fault, that's your fault. This is Mr. Blue Skies. He was uh, two races as a young bird. One race as, a, as an old bird, a follow an old bird race then. He was first national for me. And he bred this year, first national for Lenny Bulger. Uh, when I, had, I was thinking of giving up the pigeon in 2017, Hey boy, that's jackpot. 2017, and uh, they wanted Will Bowers in uh, EPW, they wanted him to put him into the sale. So he had to go into the sale, and I bought him back myself from my own auction. I paid 10,000 euros to buy him back. Hey. I have a problem with this buying back, haven't I? No. Maybe we should go to the hospital for that. Can I handle? Yeah, sure. He's a super pigeon. You bought your own bird back. Oh, I've been doing it a few times. That's um, his grandson of DiCaprio. And not only that, to show you here, Ryan, he's full brother to her. Wow. So there you see it. Mr. Blue Skies, eh? Mr. Feathers. Blue Skies. There's only one other pigeon, brother or sister of them, alive that I don't have, a friend of mine have in the UK. Take a look at the wing, the muscles. Phenomenal pigeon, isn't he? Lovely. Mm. Guys, Derek Walsh, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Auction opening up very, very soon. We're doing the loft tour. We're doing the sit-down interview. Derek was so nice enough to allow us to, to give this type of behind-the-scenes tour. The quality of the pigeons is second to none. I mean, it just seems to be getting better and better. Well, Look at the character in these pigeons. Look at Blue Ace. Come on, up. He's watching you. There's the. Uh, oh yeah. I'll show you him now. I'll have you. You this. hold that. Oh boy. This fellow's been a really good breeder for us. He can let Blue Skies off. Let him go. Yeah. He's now paired with that hen up there from Bonton Dark and Best Kittle. All right. I'm handling the feathered foot next. So this fellow is a double grandson of the Caprio, full of the cannibal lines. Beautiful, beautiful. It's identical to his mother. Just a bit of feathers, eh? Yeah. It's a nice little trademark, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the wing. I don't know what people to be... I see guys pulling out the wings before pigeons. I don't, I don't know what they be look. What do they look at? I don't know what they look at, you know? What do you look at? I don't know. Look, I don't know. What really. do you look at? Come on. I have no idea, I just like... What do you like? What do you like? Well, I, it's not the, I don't know what I like, but I tell you, if I get a pigeon in my hand, I don't like him. Let me let me handle this pigeon. I'm going to tell you if I like him or I don't. You better say you like him. You won't get, you'll never get out of Ireland again. <laughs> Switch her around. Turn her around. Okay. No, no, no. no. Just, just watch. Watch this. I'm going to teach you something. You see, it's called turning of your wrist, boy. Oh, I never heard that before. Oh. Okay, now, do I like him? Buoyancy, wow. Step nice, super pigmentation. I'm just. I'm, you're educating me. I'm educating what you. What can I say? Well, I learned this from your. I got your video. <laughs> you, you did what a, video? You did a video in 1972. Don't you remember it? Oh, it was only 10 then. <laughs> Again, they're all the same, man. They're chiseled out of steel, but the buoyancy, awesome. Now, how do you think he would work in my suitcase? Very badly. Why? Oh, I'd say he'd have it even difficult even getting into it. Awesome. Have pigeon. you got an Avery in your suitcase, by the way? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look that's, at that's Ace, Blue Ace, yeah? Hey! Look at this. Mm. Look at this. Show this with the camera. Who am I here? I'm nobody. Has he ever seen me? No. Lift, lift it up a bit. Lift it up. Look. I'm He's gonna... nine now. He's nine. That happened since 2018. And do you know what? Two years I didn't even breed off him. Don't know why. Now, this pigeon's never met me. Mm. Look at the character. He goes around on my shoulder from loft to loft, section to section. Really? Yeah, hold him there. Well, well, do you know what? I think that they nearly know the difference in the hands. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Come on, 
Come on. Okay. How about we make a deal right now? I've never done Suitcase it again. No. I'll go get a brand new Widowhood crate for him. <laughs> but you know what we're going to need? We're going to need a hand for him. <laughs> Stop. I'm getting a nervous break. I'm talking to <laughs> Feeling really weak in the knees. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, he was uh, first day's pigeon. Weren't you? Loves the occasional peanut. A real character pigeon, eh? Mm. Look at this. Look at this. What? Marina Strife bred him. He is cannibal blood. First day's pigeon 2015. Second day's pigeon in 2013. That's from the same grub and dunk for dirt family bulk flies. And so on, and so on, and so on. Patrick Box, that box man. It's all here. All the top guys. Look at the character in this pigeon. Mm. You can hear the wind roaring. We should let these birds get, get their get back to what they're doing. Absolutely. You know what, this was a great little tour. Can I hand them to you, this guy? Yeah, and I put bass back first. Put Come him on. back first, go. Come on, there you go. Come on. Good boy. There you yeah. go. Now, okay. There's his full brother. This guy's full brother. Yeah. It goes on and on. I now, what we'll do is that, I didn't even get to show you some of the other, I didn't even get to show you Best Sagan. There's Best Sagan over there. But what can I do? There's a son of Drum. Drum. It's all probably, here, probably the only one alive, but he doesn't fit. He doesn't fill anymore. What do you guys think of the candy shop again? We keep hitting candy shop after right. candy shop. Let's go. I gotta be quiet. I gotta go. Come on. I'm wondering if I can stay in here. Maybe I can. Would you ever loan birds? I'll give out? you a, a duvet if you want. Duvet. Come here and I tell you. Here's the. I can, I can sleep on the ground. There's a nice floors. son of. Uh, there's a nice son of uh, gold dust. Yeah. When gold dust was paired to. Conica. Conica is a full brother to Olympic Rosita. But you know what? No matter what pigeon I race down there, no matter which of my race, the Caprio and the Olympiad is through them all. In fact, you'll find it on both sides of the family. I'm obsessed about mice. Stop and mice come into a loft. Look, everywhere I put it. You're like but, completely. Oh, I, I hate them. Hey, do you want? How about we do this? I'll make what? you a deal. We'll, we'll pick out a pair of pigeons and I'll take you to Disney World. There's loads of mice there. But you stand in here now. Uh, actually, no, you stand over there. Okay. And I get these birds back in. There's Superstar Bolt over there. There's the son of Gripel. No, I, I'm not going to go chase him. I'm going to let him go. You know what? Let's just let's just let's move on. No, you stand there and I get him out of here first. Oh, you got to get Come him on. out of here. It's amazing when I'm here the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. And they see a stranger come in. They know straight away. Okay. Come on, Ryan. Beautiful loft. Beautiful ah, setup. Look, it's only we are, do you know what they were? Two little garden sheds and I put them together and they went on from there. <laughs> but you know, the thing about pigeons is, you know, you're always going around with a hammer and nail on your hand, aren't you? And that's the part, that's part of the pigeons, isn't it? That is. You're going around your you, Do you want to know what? When you've built you're always going around with a hammer and saw. Have you ever noticed something? Once you've built a pigeon loft, you, build another you can one. tell your wife or your significant other you're a professional carpenter. Our boat. <laughs> Our boat. Our boat. <laughs> Uh, okay. We need to leave Ryan there for a few weeks. Don't huh? want me to stay here for a few weeks. Okay, we're done. Um, Is it I over? Should, yeah, I'll put, on the, I'll put on the outside lights there so they'll be able to find where they're going. Hey guys, we're coming out. We got the dogs here. Where do you guys go to bid Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions? FIPA.ca, FIPAUK.com, Derek Walsh. I'm going to have to say thank you, thank you, thank you to this. There's his life. I hope everybody, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the tour. Oh. I'll just show you just before we, we finish up okay. a new holding pen that we're building up here. He's Come on. constantly building again. He, he moved from... This is it, the finishing. This is the finish, though. This is the finish. Blocks. He's into block building now. Let's turn on the lights there. He's going to put the lights on, guys. You're getting the whole... This was incredible. I didn't think we were going to get this type of... This was just supposed to be a teaser. Guys, just a teaser. There's no teasers here. Hey, 
inch by inch, brick by brick, mile by mile. I'm not wrapping this up. Derek is going to show you the holding pen. He's moving to a new location, many miles away from here. <laughs> Straight across the road. Guys, if anybody wants to get Derek a nice gift, he likes either Old Spice or Brute. <laughs> Again, for the hens, he likes Chanel number no. 5. Holding pen. I can be louder now. Oh, yeah. We can get back to you regular can just tone. You can just pretend no, you're out of football match. Okay, I'm out of football match. Now, what is this, this room that's not finished? Well, we're going to have a corridor up here. A corridor? Yeah, and inside... You know, so because some of the pigeons are getting old and I just don't want to kill them or anything, it's a bit soft like that, I'll probably just leave a little breeding section up here for them. But the rest then will just have the racks there for the pigeons to, to rest on and so on. Outside there, there's an opening there, as you can see. You're going to have an opening here. Averys. Yeah, they're just growing to 8 by 4 Averys. Small little Averys. Well, 8 by 4, 8 feet by 4. Tiny. Yeah. The ceiling will just have wire, where we're seeing plenty of ventilation coming in. Clear, plas clear plastic for light? No, it's too warm in the summer, isn't it? Tin as well, too. I'll, pro I'll probably put a little small apex roof on it. Really? Yeah, so I don't mind having an open front here because... I like this wire. This is super heavy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I've never felt this this cubic uh, zirconium. Uh, you wouldn't have good quality wire like that in Canada now. Now, is this is this real is this real Belgian wire? <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got that in the uh, one of the co-ops. You know, it's super strong. Mm. There's no bend into it. You can't. Funny enough, when I bought a, a few rolls of it, he was charging me 30 quid a roll, so I couldn't buy enough of it. But then afterwards, he found out that the rolls were 120 each. <laughs> hey, so I said, you know what? Hey, Derek, <laughs> there you are. everyone is saying thank you for that quick little tour. No problem. I hope you all uh, liked us. Hey, I, I know one thing. If they didn't like it, to hell with them. Because you know what? I enjoyed it thoroughly. I've had a great time with Derek. The birds are phenomenal. Yes, we're doing a small auction for Derek. The birds are here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You guys are going to be super, super, super stoked with these pigeons. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. The birds are here in Ireland. They can be shipped world, 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 worldwide. All bids are in Canadian dollars. You can see. You like your... You know what you need? Oh. You need some chihuahuas. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm, I'm Ryan. That's Derek. Derek, we're right. <laughs> we got to still get back to work. Derek, thank you very, okay, very, thank you very much. much. Hey, we got to go. Thanks for flying with me. Irish, go, go, go. Oh, and yes, I will have a Guinness. Maybe I'll even get him to sit beside me while I drink one. Thanks for flying with me. Got to go. Bye for now.